Israel and now lives in Israel. And uh, he decided to own a soccer team in Israel, which is by itself a question mark. Why would one own a soccer team in Israel, not in England, here in Israel? And I'm going to uh, present him and to invite him here, Mr. Goma Gia. is uh, not only an investor uh, is uh, making a lot of charity and is very generous and, uh, and the most bizarre uh, scene that I've ever seen in my life was last week when I've seen two weeks ago when I've seen Apollo Yerushalayim in basketball playing against Maccabi Tel Aviv and you're Beitar Yerushalayim, and you jump with the fans of Apollo. You know, it's like making suicide. <laughs> Why? Being the same time on both sides, Apollo and Beitar Yerushalayim. Before I comment, can I please have Elijah the Prophet calm me down in 30 seconds? Man, that was the most incredible speech I've ever heard in my life. I thought we were going to trigger World War III today, and you just calmed everybody down. Goma. <laughs> I, you need to be writing with Dr. Ruth. So if I have to read Dr. Ruth's comments, I better get three years right now. I forgot to tell you that uh, Goma Aguiar is also one of the most unpredictable persons in our world. I'm sorry. That was unpredictable. Thank you, really. Uh, so, okay. so tell me why soccer for MC? Why? Why? Are you a leader? You want to become a leader within the Israeli sport? I'm just a nice guy that just wanted to have fun with my life. I just, I mean, can I just act like this and want to smile and have fun? Why does everybody have to ask but why what, I want to have fun? What, what kind of fun can one have when Betar Yerushalayim loses? <laughs> and they lose. We don't lose. We have referees, man. Listen, I'm, I'm not Has anybody <laughs> here seen the game? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're in Jerusalem. We want official referees. That's all. <laughs> like the kind they have at the New York Knicks. That's just what i You know, since you arrived in uh, Israel, uh, I've seen a few interviews with you. And I still don't know who you are. Who are you, man? Can you please tell me? I have no idea. I'm confused. <laughs> I show up in this country. They change my name. I thought I was going on my whole life. Then I become Yehuda David. Then I lose that because I don't. Then I have five names I was born with. Guma, Leandro, Kaplan, Desoza, Giar, really six. Plus I had to take two more. Man, how am I so... Then I got to read my name in Hebrew in 35 different combinations of Guma. <laughs> a hundred thousand combinations of Adyar, and I thank God I don't understand Hebrew because you guys are driving me nuts. If I wake up, I'm on the Truman Show. <laughs> that must be a very provocative person. Going in Jerusalem with red and yellow, come on. Listen, give me a break. Right. You have to understand. Hmm? If you knew, if you saw my CFOs here, if you knew how much my wife spends on clothes, if I had to get rid of all of my red and white and all of her red and white clothes, it would have cost me a lot more than not buying my blood of your Trust me. Trust me. This was a much cheaper thing to do. And I would have had to sell my red Ferrari. What are you, nuts? What are your, your aspirations, personally? I just want to see peace, man. This guy just, Shim and Perez laid it out for us many years ago. That was beautiful. I mean, that's it. You are happy here? I'm tired, you know, I came all the way here from the States to be here and, and there's so many people that- uh, Why did you go there in the best place? I'm just- the Business? Yeah, you know, I was, and you know, and a lot of it, you know, I had a lot of great meetings when I was there and- um, How much luck do you need in business? Listen, anybody- well, you have Anybody here, here who's made any money or who's lost any money, who's not willing to say, it's all because of God, and they had nothing to do with it whatsoever except being in the right place at the right time. They're liars. 
And it's just a matter of time before they'll be exposed. So, I mean, that's, you know, unfortunately, that's in today's day and age. We're living in the day and age. We have technology. We have cell phones. It's hard to hide things today. You have to be honest. You're forced to be honest. You're on stage constantly. If you're anybody, if you want to do anything in life. And you live now mostly in Jerusalem? Unless I get exiled into the diaspora, okay, you will find me here 23 hours a day. You'll know exactly where I am before I know where I am, okay? I find out that I didn't brush my teeth yet, so I got to go online and find out where my toothpaste is. When I said that you were very unpredictable, you were always a little bit or just when you became a wealthy man and you could afford it? Look, I've always dreamed my whole life that somebody would stand up here and say, please, let's change the whole regime in the world and have women run the world for once. Let's give him a chance. Eve, hang on a second. Eve, Eve sinned for like, what, a second? And they've been exiled to, for the last 5,770 years? Let's give them another shot to run this place. Come on, I want to relax. This guy wants to relax. Leave us alone. Go, Maria. I wish you it. Uh, I hope they say I don't wish Peter Rushlein to win championship. Just number, Whoa, number he's number Jerusalem. Two. Guys, number, guys. Number, I'm the wrong guy to ask questions here because I'm a poet. But, uh, <laughs> but. Ed, do you realize where you are? <laughs> I told you outside uh, before you we ended. I told you this is a piece of that. Please, to all my fans, let them go home safely. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Thanks a lot. It was a pleasure. According to uh, the audience reaction, you are going to win the championship. <laughs>